We create a lot of data and documents every day. This includes things like writing emails, putting together offers or sending draft contracts to suppliers. And of course, all this information is stored in different places so that we can access it later on. Businesses make use of or act on this information and so it's extremely important that people are able to access it on demand, like when they need to send invoices to suppliers. Not only do invoices have to be stored for a specific period of time by law, other information is required too, such as how the invoice was created, is there a related order reference or any other correspondence, who approved the invoice, has the invoice already been paid? All this information needs to be on hand so that we can access it easily whenever we need it. But almost 8% of the information and documents we generate are never found again. There are different reasons for this. Sometimes people forget where the information was stored, or maybe it wasn't stored in the right place, or someone deleted it by mistake. Let's assume that the information is still available somewhere. Once we've created a document or some other piece of information, we save it either in our ERP system or on a server or an external storage device. This brings us to the next problem, because even though we know we saved it, it's possible that when we need it again, we won't remember exactly where we stored it. And that's when we have to start searching for it. It's been estimated that we spend around 19% of our work time, that's 33 hours a month, searching for and gathering information. One reason for this is that we have to look in different places, because data can be stored in an ERP system, while documents and files might be on a file server or on our own computers. Putting all these pieces of data together takes time. A system where you can store documents as well as add information to them makes your daily work a lot easier. If you're putting together an offer for a customer, you can enter important information that is saved with the document, such as the document type, which is an offer in this case, but also who the offer is for, when the document was created, and of course, the price. This information makes it easier to find the document later on. It allows us to automate specific tasks like notifying a colleague or setting ourselves a reminder for any deadlines. The Eloe CM Suite can do all this for you and more. We've put together an offer for one of our customers in Microsoft Word. Now we want to store this document in ELO. So we'll open the ELO desktop client. The ELO desktop client gives you access to all functions in ELO. You can open the repository, search for documents or complete your tasks. We're going to store the Word document in the repository. First, we go to the desktop workspace in our client. The ELO desktop client automatically recognizes that Microsoft Word is open, so we can save the document we just created in our repository simply by clicking Save in ELO. The first thing we have to do is select the folder we want to store the document in. Of course we can create a new folder if we want, but we don't need to do that in this case. We can select the folder we require by clicking OK. This form is where we can enter metadata. First, we need to select the type of document. We want to store an offer, so we'll select the proposal metadata form. Now we can enter additional information in the fields. We've put together an offer for ACME LLC and we can select that here. Other data, such as the customer's address, are entered automatically. Now all we need to do is enter the total amount. This value can be used again later on. Finally, we need to click OK. The document has now been stored. 
Other users can also view and edit the document if they have the right permissions. That's how easy it is to file a document in ELO. Adding metadata also ensures that we can find the document later on. All documents that are stored in the ELO repository can of course be edited. We're going to make some changes to the document you see here. So first we need to select the option Check out and edit. The document we are using opens in Microsoft Word. Now we can make our changes. As soon as we are done, we can save the document and close it again. But we are not quite finished yet, because as long as the document is checked out, other users are able to see the document, but they can't edit it. If other users see a username before the name of the document, they know that someone else is currently working on the document. When we are ready to check the document back in, we need to click Check In. Every time we make changes to a document, we create a new version. We change the version number here and enter a comment if we want. Finally, we need to click OK. In the ELO feed, which is always shown when you select a document, we can see our version comment. This makes it easier for other users to see what changes have been made. When we are trying to locate a piece of information or a document, we sometimes have to search in different places. This is really easy to do in the ELO ECM suite. We only have to run a search in ELO because all our documents and data are stored in a central system. We are now going to search for all offers that we created for ACME LLC in the past three months. To open the search function, we can either select the search tile or click search in the navigation bar. We'll click on the search tile. The search area is very simple. Here is a field where we can enter a search term. And then below this we can select different filters that help us narrow down the search results. The search results are displayed in the part below this. And then we have the preview window to the right. So let's enter the search term in the field. As soon as we click Start Search, all information and documents that contain the search term are displayed in the search results. The search returns everything that contains our search term either in the metadata or the full text. This is because when we file a document, its contents are automatically stored as well, so we can find them with the search tool later on. But we only need to find offers that we created for ACME LLC. All offers in our system are stored with the metadata form Proposal, so we can set that filter to start with.
As you can see, the search results contain all offers for Acme LLC. But we only want to find offers from the last three months. So we can set another filter for the date. So now the search results contain all offers for Acme LLC that we created in the last three months. That's how easy it is to use the search function in ELO. All we need was one search term and two filters to find the right document. With the full text search and the right metadata, you can easily find information in the ELU ECM suite. The ELU ECM suite gives you access to all your documents and information in a central location. It's easy to store documents and by adding metadata to them, you can find them quickly when you need them again. You can keep track of all changes that have been made to a document, when those changes were made and who made the changes. The built-in search tool ELO iSearch lets you find information and documents quickly. It also searches the document metadata and has an option to set filters so that search results are more accurate. Because it's a one-stop solution where you have all your documents in one place, you also save a lot of time. The ELO ECM suite has all the tools you need for your daily tasks. The ELO iSearch, OCR, collaboration features and much more.